I tested six AI avatar generators in a tournament and the winner honestly surprised me. Let me show you a quick clip from the winning AI avatar. I'm an AI avatar and I was built in under two minutes using the winning AI avatar generator from this video. Pretty impressive. Now let me show you how we got there by testing each tool head to head with increasingly intense Black Friday pep talks. Don't ask why. Here's how it's gonna work. I've got six AI avatar tools ranked from cheapest to most expensive. So we've got AI Studios by DeepBrain, Colossian, HeyGen, Synthesia, Veed and DID. And we're gonna battle these tournament style until we have a winner. Now, while I will be taking into account things like pricing and feature breadth, I'll be picking the winner of each round primarily based on two things, the realism of the video avatar and the quality of the voice clone. Because if the avatar isn't very realistic, then frankly, everything else is a bit irrelevant. I've also put together a free detailed comparison of all six tools, including some of the hidden costs that I came across, which I'll link to in the description below. So first up, we've got AI Studios and Colossian. Now both of these offer pretty generous free plans where you can go in and actually create an AI avatar and create videos without paying, but you then need to upgrade in order to remove the watermark. So I believe AI Studios is $24 a month and Colossian is $27 a month. Now, speaking of pricing, I've reached out to all six companies and asked if they can offer any kind of discount. If any of them come back to me, I will include promo codes and stuff in the description below. But let's have a look at what they've come back with from their video avatars. So I've built an avatar in both AI Studios and Colossian. I've used the exact same training video to train both avatars and we're giving them the same script. So first off, we're starting with a relatively calm pep talk before things get intense. So let's see what AI Studios have come back with. I know today feels challenging, but you've got this. You've been preparing for this moment and all that work wasn't for nothing. Take a deep breath, trust yourself and believe in the goodness of Black Friday. So not bad. It has made me sound very slightly Australian and there's a few issues that I've got around eye contact, but in general, it looks pretty realistic. Not bad at all. Let's have a look at what we've got back from Colossian. I know today feels challenging, but you've got this. You've been preparing for this moment and all that work wasn't for nothing. Take a deep breath trust yourself and believe in the goodness of Black Friday. Okay, definitely not as good. The lip sync is definitely less natural. It's made me sound a little bit weird, a little bit robotic. So that for me is a definite win for AI Studios. So next up, we've got HeyGen and Synthesia. Now, while both of these technically cost the same at $29 a month, there's a few pretty big differences between them worth knowing. So firstly, on the pricing front, while Synthesia technically have a free plan and a $29 a month plan, my actual experience using Synthesia is that you're likely gonna to need to pay more than that. When I was on Synthesia's $29 a month plan, I think I was able to create about three videos before I ran out of credits and had to upgrade. That's not been my experience with HeyGen. With HeyGen, I've been able to stay on their lower plan for a lot longer. The second difference is on the feature front. So with HeyGen, there's a lot more functionality and features, particularly around integrations and apps. So if you're looking to say create a workflow where you automatically trigger creating videos from data in a Google Sheet or a CRM, HeyGen allow you to do that. Synthesia don't, I believe, have that functionality. And the last major difference between these two is the intended audience. So while Synthesia is a bit more geared towards larger corporates and teams looking to build internal videos, training, support videos, that kind of thing, HeyGen is typically used more by content creators and marketing teams looking to create sales and social media content. That's not to say that each can't work for the other, but it's just they're typically used by slightly different audiences. Now with that, let's have a look at the AI avatar videos that we've got from both of them. So let's start with HeyGen. All right, team, this is it. This is our moment. You've put in the hours, made the sacrifices, and now it's time to collect what you're owed. Time to work. So could be a little bit more emotion there, but not bad. In terms of how realistic that comes across, that's pretty good. Let's have a look now at what we've got from Synthesia. All right, team, this is it. This is our moment. You've put in the hours, made the sacrifices, and now it's time to collect what you're owed. Time to work. Now, while the video is not bad, I'm not sure what's going on with the voice there. It's worth noting, I've trained these identically. There's no difference between them. And what's even more surprising about this is that I believe both Synthesia and HeyGen both use the same voice model. They're both using Eleven Lab. So I have no idea why the voices come back so differently on Synthesia. So I'm gonna say that's a clear win for HeyGen. Now, before we test out Veed in round three, if you want to see a more detailed comparison between HeyGen and Synthesia, I'll link to a separate video that I did in the description. So this was an interesting round, to say the least. We've got AI Studios and Veed.io. And what's notable here is that Veed costs more than twice as much as AI Studios. 
So Aero Studio is $24 a month, V.io is $55 a month if you want access to AI avatars. So let's see what we've got from AI Studios. Listen up, they think us, but they have no idea what promotions we're capable of. Every setback was just fuel for this fire. We're not just here to compete, we're here to dominate. This is our time. Not bad. Now let's see what we've got from V.io. Listen up, they think they know us, but they have no idea what promotions we're capable of. Every setback was just fuel for this fire. We're not just here to compete, we're here to dominate. This is our time. I repeat, these were trained using the same video. So I don't think that needs too much explanation. AI Studios is going through to the final. So to work out who's going up against AI Studios in the final, we've got HeyGen versus DID. Now something I found pretty surprising with DID is that although they do have these lower priced tiers, if you want to create videos that don't have watermarks all over them, you've got to be on their advanced plan, which as of time of recording is $196 a month. The other thing that I found kind of surprising is that on the free tier, I can only create videos that are up to 10 words in length. So for this test, I've had to create four separate videos and stitch them together and something pretty weird happened. Let's have a quick look at HeyGen and then we'll come back to DID in a second. Warriors, today we separate the pretenders from the champions. We've bled, we've sweat, we've pushed through campaigns they can't imagine. This battlefield belongs to us. We don't just convert, we conquer. So not bad, let's have a look at what came back from DID. Warriors, today we separate the pretenders from the champions. We've bled, we've sweat, we've pushed through campaigns they can't imagine. This battlefield belongs to US. We don't just convert, we conquer. Now, this wasn't a perfectly fair test because with DID I had to create the four videos and stitch them together. But I don't love the fact that without me changing anything, it gave me four completely different voices. Now, the video quality was good, but considering that DID costs seven to eight times the cost of HeyGen to get a non-watermarked video, to me, it wasn't seven to eight times as good. It was maybe slightly better, if not comparable. So for that reason, I'm gonna send HeyGen through to the final. Now, before we jump into our final test between HeyGen and AI Studios, some of the tools actually came back with some pretty decent offers. So I've popped those in the description below. And don't forget, you can also download a free detailed comparison of all the tools, including some of the hidden costs. With that, let's jump into our final. So for our final, we've got HeyGen going up against AI Studios. I've given them both an incredibly intense motivational Black Friday speech. So let's see what we've got from HeyGen. Enough of this. We are lions among sheep, thunder among whispers. We are the storm that destroys everything in our path. Unbreakable, unstoppable legends charge and show the world what a real Black Friday looks like. Now let's see what we've got from AI Studios. Now I had to change the script slightly because it deemed the word destroys to be inappropriate language. Enough of this. We are lions among sheep, thunder among whispers. We are unbreakable, unstoppable legends. Charge and show the world what a real Black Friday looks like. Now both of those are pretty impressive. They're both very usable, but I would say the HeyGen video that has come back is just slightly better quality. The eye contact is a bit better and everything just kind of seems a little bit more natural. So for that reason, I'm gonna say HeyGen is our winner. Now, HeyGen is a decent option for building AI avatars, but it's not perfect. I recently did a thorough test of its platform and ran into a bunch of issues from eye tracking correction problems to creepy sounding voice models and long processing times. If you want to watch a deep dive test of its platform, including me testing out its latest interactive real-time avatar feature, watch here. 